Are we live? I think we're live! Hi! Hello, everyone! Is it working? We'll start seeing a comment or two pop up there. Welcome to our first ever live event at one of our group members' home. We are here with the lovely, sweet, kind, wonderful Jeanette. Jeanette, Jeanette Iongi. <laughs> Jeanette, and the last name is important, it's Jeanette Iongi, and it, it looks like it's an L, like Longi, because of the way the I's and the uh, are written. Exactly. There's not like a capital I with the lines across, and so it's a Tongan last name. It yes. is. And so we're so glad to meet you. Just so we know, it's Jeanette Iongi. We are here in her kitchen. We are. Yes. It is so fun. Can you believe that? We're up here in northern Utah in Garland on a beautiful June 14th day. Mm -hmm. The sun is shining. We actually got snow in the mountains last night, yes. which is welcome to the summertime in Utah, right? Exactly. Crazy. <laughs> so in 24 hours, the weather will change. The weather it will change. It will definitely. Yeah. If you don't like the weather in Utah, just wait because just wait. it will change. So I'm going to hit refresh here on my computer so I can pull up the show and we can start responding to all of your many comments. Let's oh, see look here. look how pretty your orange cabinets are. Yes, don't that. adjust, don't adjust <laughs> the <laughs> orange. I'm, Welcome to the 70s. I love, oh, I love it. it. <laughs> this is the, it's a happy place. It is so happy. And Jeanette is the happiest, sweetest lady. I don't know if you guys know that, but we know it now. We know it now. So Lori Lamford, of course, is here. Hello, Lori. Hi, you Lori. know Lori really well. Um, who else do we have? Paulette Kim, Pamela Smith. Lori says she's so happy to see you, Jeanette. Hey. Jeanette was just telling Hi, us. Hi, friends. <laughs> we love Jeanette. <laughs> She was just telling us how you've been a member of our group now for a year. Yes. I think it was May last year May that last you joined. Year. And then over to the side, and we're going to get to this, there are how many bottles of extract are sitting right there? Oh, boy. I don't know. A dozen? More than that? More 15, than that. 20? 20? There's 20 bottles of extract. So we're going to yep. get to some of Jeanette's favorite extracts that she's made. Yep. She has, it looks like, six or so bags of vanilla sugar. Yep. She's got several beans that she's just received and has not even gotten them swimming yet. Not yep. swimming. And then we've got a couple extracts that we're going to make with Jeanette that we brought up with some bottles and, and some other things as well. So we're just so excited to be here. This is so much fun to actually not just be virtual, but to be in homes and yes. to meet you and to say hello. And I'll tell you, I mean, we pulled up and Jeanette walks out on the front porch before we could even ring the bell and just greeted us with open arms. And yep. she's as sweet as she is in all of her posts. Jeanette is Jeanette. Jeanette is actually you. Jeanette. Yep. And so we're just so happy. So let's see what else. Well, you make it easy to be that way. <laughs> Not anything bad on your site at all. I know. I, it's the I sweetest enjoy people. reading the comments and the posts and people that are asking the questions and needing the help. There's always somebody there to help them out. Always. There is. There's there is. always someone out there, and it's nice. You can always go any time of the day. It seems like yes. someone's there to, to answer a question. Oh, it's amazing. We'll wake up in the morning, and we'll see that someone posted at like 2 a.m., our time. Yeah. And by the time we're up, we're looking at it, you know, early in the morning, and there's already 15 answers. Yeah. So uh, some of you need to get some sleep <laughs> every now and then. But even <laughs> if you can't sleep, at least you have company. At least you have That's <laughs> true. If you're up at night, you're in good company. Yeah. So if you're not sleeping... That'll be just fine. So let's see. I just want to make sure that everybody who's saying hi to you, you can hear from them. So it looks like uh, Callie down in uh, Monticello, right? Oh, hi, she Callie. She says hello. Laura, our friend in Great Britain, is watching oh, right wow. now. She hi, says Laura. hello. Hi, Laura. Uh, let's see. Diane says hello. Olp. Um, hi, Susan Newton Samples. Thank you for hosting, Jeanette, she says. Wow. My and pleasure. people are having problems getting on. Oh no, hopefully not. If you just if you're in our group right now and you don't see it and you see they're posting, just go up and hit refresh and the video will pop up at the very beginning. So you'll see it, it'll just pop right up, kind of like a post, but you'll see us moving around inside of that post. We're like a Harry Potter painting. <laughs> So our, Harry kids Potter 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 our, Harry our kids Potter. like Harry Potter, and I'm actually reading Harry Potter for the very first time. Ooh, yeah. I'm hilarious. He's joining the rest of the world. So I'm joining the rest of the world. I'm finally catching up. I'm on book three, so no spoilers. I don't want to know how it ends yet. Okay. Debbie Perry Thomas, hello from Tennessee. Oh, my gosh. Who else do we have? Kylie from Monticello. Let's see if I'm catching up. 
Terry, uh, I've never done any extracting. She's excited. Uh, Carolyn says, hello, thanks for letting me come. Well, everybody's uh, invited. Welcome. And she, it looks like we've got people from New York State from everywhere. So I think we have a party going on. Should we go ahead and get started? We should. So we've got a number of things we're going to do today. We're going to make some extracts. Surprise. <laughs> you didn't know that. We're going to make some extracts. We have some vanilla beans. We know some people that have vanilla beans, so we brought them. Um, we've got some, uh, we're going to make a Vanuatu extract, and we're going to make a Ugandan extra <laughs> extract. Jeanette is like, this guy has like a 9-volt battery inside of him. It kind of does. <laughs> Sometimes I just smile and nod and let him just keep talking. <laughs> and so we're going to make a Ugandan, we're going to make a Vanuatu, and then we're going to give away uh, one ounce of vanilla beans to our top 10 contributors again. And so we've got the list of who you are, and Jeanette's going to help us read the names off this time, which is so fun having people here to help oh, us do it's that. it's so fun. Um, and we're going to get to know Jeanette a little bit, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to do. I, we did want to give a special shout-out, and I'm not going to say her name. I haven't seen her here yet, but I know that there's a lady, a really amazing member of our group. She's been with us for over a year now. She's watching from a hospital in Michigan, and you oh. know who you are. And we love you, and we hope you're doing well, and we hope that, you know, you continue to heal. It sounds like things are going well, and hopefully you can get home pretty soon. But, man, we have some amazing, dedicated members. So, we do, and we know a lot of you struggle in so many ways. And, and we're, we're here together, so we hope, you know, that you're all doing okay and, and that we can just help each other, um, you know, through these tough times. Totally. She had uh, just come out of surgery, and I was online, you know, reading some posts, and I saw her name. She had made a post, like, the day after coming out of surgery, and a pretty uh, significant surgery, and I thought, oh, my gosh. You know, she's in, in a hospital bed, and she's synced up on her phone, and she's saying hi to all of her friends. Yeah. And um, <laughs> She's a warrior. We're, we've got you. We've got you. <laughs> she is a warrior. She's uh, just as sweet, and when she's not here, we notice that she's not here. She's just exactly. one of those one of those people that really has left a mark on our group. So we're thinking about you. We're here for you. Um, keep us posted as you've uh, as you've been doing. So with that being said, let's get to know Jeanette a little bit. <laughs> yes. Should we do that? Because we're here in Northern Utah. So Jeanette was telling us you have lived here for. 25 years. 25 years. Yes. And your father bought this home, is that? My father had this house. He lived here 20 years. Oh, my gosh. Which explains this behind me. Oh, it's me. beautiful. It's happy. Love we it. love it. <laughs> you'll never find another, and you'll never match that color either. I don't know what he meant. <laughs> That's pretty unique. You watch. It's going to start showing up in living rooms and kitchens uh -huh. now everywhere. It's all back. Yep, Orange it's all back. It. So hashtag Jeanette's Kitchen, That's right. and just let this thing's going to go viral, and everybody's going to have cupboards because it's beautiful. Oh, and when you walk is. in, it's happy. It is happy. Yeah. So 45 years right so, here. 45 years right here. In Garland. In and you're wearing your Toby Keith shirt because you're a huge Toby Keith Toby fan. Toby Keith fan. Every day. We, we love Toby Keith. Yes. So big Get to well, get well. Get well, Toby. Yeah, that's right. We should send him a big get well from our group because he's, he's not doing well right now. Now, um, first question that we have, and this is a very important question that we're going to take very seriously. Do you already regret inviting us into your home? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. I was nervous and I was worried and it's like, you know what? It is what it is. It is That's what it right. is. And this is, is me and, and this is me and you know. And it's all wonderful. Yeah. We love you just, We're just the way you are. Unique. I love it. Okay. We all are. Fair answer. So phew. Oh, go ahead. No, this house was actually built in 1904. Oh my wow. gosh. Yes. 1904. What is that? 118 yes. years old now. Wow. And Garland wasn't named Garland when it first became a city. It was called Sunset. Oh, really? And the crops here were sugar beets mm -hmm. and wheat. And wheat. Hmm. So in uh, 1903, a man named William Garland came in and built a sugar factory so that they could refine the sugar beets. Mm -hmm. So they renamed Sunset Garland. No kidding. 
after the, the sugar farmer, the sugar after, bean farmer. After the guy that came and built the factory for the sugar. For the sugar. Every year we have a wheat and beet celebration. That's, wheat and beet? Yes. <laughs> that sounds fun. When it is, is that? So fun. Love that celebration. It's, it, it's usually in August, but they've kind of made changes, so it's in July. Okay. It's in July. So in July. So for those of you that have not planned your summer vacations yet, Come in July for the Wheat and Beet Festival right. yep. in Garland, Utah. And yep. this is a gorgeous town. It really yes, is. It's it quiet is. up here. The air is clean. It it's is. just beautiful. So I can see why you've stayed here for so many years. Yes. Wow. Well, that's okay. So you don't regret it. That's no. good. So we've survived step one. So the show, can, the show can continue. She has not kicked us out yet. The next question I was going to ask is, what do your friends and family think of your extract hobby? Because as we look over at those 15, 20 jars of extract, what does everyone think of your hobby? I don't think they really know. <laughs> She's a secret closet and extract jar. Well, now just, okay, all of you 68,000 people out there, don't tell anyone. <laughs> let's, not, let's not get Jeanette in trouble. I think I thought it was going to start out small. I would just have enough for me to use. And... I have a nephew that's a really, he should be a chef, he's a really good cook. And I thought, I can share some with Tom, and yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And then all these new beans come out, <laughs> how can you say no? I, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know, because we don't say no. We have a yeah. problem as well. We yeah. don't say no. I remember the first time learning about vanilla beans and going into the rabbit hole and when I learned that like a Madagascar bean doesn't taste like a Tahiti bean, I was floored. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, because you hear about that with, with um, coffee. And that really is about it. I had no idea. And then, you know, we're the same. Well, Lots I, want, of I just kind of want to show yes, what, grab you a few, know, like, because they're beautiful. Let's just, let's show them what you've got here. Tell us, tell us what this is here. This is, this is so cool. She has them in the, in the bag still. Well, and I have some in jars right there that have beans in the jars. Oh, in the back there. You uh -huh. see that? Uh, yep. Grab that. Yep. So this is your vanilla sugar. So tell us yep. how you approach vanilla sugar. So these are the bags that the beans came in. That's a jar with some beans in it. And I didn't cut my beans. I just threw them in the sugar. And whenever I walk by, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And I think these ones are probably grind them up mm -hmm. yeah and so you get when you do it this way you're putting a grade a bean in the sugar so a little moisture in there so right. what will happen is sometimes it'll clump right around exactly. the bean so when you see the clumping how do you handle that i just you get shake a knife it and cut it up shake it apart yeah if it see, there's one there yeah a little bit of a clumping just so you kind just of kind of shake shake, shake, shake and, and then we found as well you can put it into a food processor when you're done when you pull the beans yeah. out or if the beans yeah. are really dry you can try to put them in we'll pull them Put it in a food processor. Yeah, that's a good with thing. a little sugar. With a little yeah. sugar. Yeah, always don't, sugar. Don't put the bean in by itself. <laughs> no, 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 Stick a little sugar in there and yeah, mix it up. Regular sugar that you're putting into these bags. This is regular sugar. You know, a lot of people, uh, you're doing what I've seen a lot of people do. You fold the bag over and just clamp it. Which I don't know why, because I have a food saver. Well, you have a food saver, well, so that that works easy. too. Duh. <laughs> Because these bags are meant to be to be sealed, yeah. so you can absolutely seal them again. So you just put how much sugar do you put in each bag? I just put maybe a cup or a little bit more, depending on. See this bag? That little bag's bit a little bigger. bigger than that bag. Yeah. And you can see this one doesn't have much left. No. So it's so really it's, fine. It's ready to go. Oh, look at that! It's absorbed all the oil. It has. And it's really, um, boy, that's like a beach in the Caribbean. I mean, look at that. It's like perfect Isn't that sand. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. But that's yeah. interesting that the clump kind of when the oil has all been removed from the bag, the bag's clean now. Yeah. And the sugar has a little bit of a yellow tint to it from uh, the oil. But no clumps. But no clumps. And just no waste. Clean and yellow. Every and no waste. No waste. No Every little drop of oil has been absorbed, right? It, yes. <laughs> well, and it will be used. Yes. Well, let's talk about your extracts. Yeah, tell us all about what you've got going here. And this, by the way, is a very small portion of it, correct? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a secret. It's a oh, yes, that's a, that's a secret. That's a secret. So that's a very small portion of the extract. So what we have here, this this big one, this is a one-liter jar, it looks like. That is not extract. This is Kahlua. Oh. 
This is your Kahlua. This is, is Kahlua. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can never have too much. Oh boy. <laughs> and it's a good thing that my younger son doesn't know where it's at. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him where Don't. you keep it. Don't, yeah. <laughs> keep it. Keep it the Kahlua secret. Yes. So, Wonderful. And did you use the recipe on VanillaCure.com? I did. Okay. And I it turned out okay. It did. In fact, I didn't even know that you could make your own. Yeah. You know, you go to the liquor store and you that's buy the you Kahlua. Can, yeah. Yeah. That's just what you do. Isn't so, it amazing what yes. you make and, on your own? Yeah. And uh, people have said, oh, when I did mine, I'm not going to add so much sugar. To me, it tastes sweet. But everybody's preference is different. Everybody's taste is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is so, the nice thing of being able to make your own, right? Exactly. Just modify it to what your likes are. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. That's so wonderful. I used Mexican beans in this one. Oh, that's a good oh, choice for the color. Oh, that is a nice combination. Dark rum. Yep, yes. yep. The Mexican beans with a dark rum. Hawaiian yeah. beans, obviously, with a dark rum, I think would be good. And you don't have to wait long for this to be no. ready. No, this is ready <laughs> right away. What's the wait again on the Kahlua? It's just a couple weeks. couple yeah. weeks and you're yeah. ready to go. I mean, yeah. wow. if you're feeling sad because you have to wait so long, just, you know, make some Kahlua and it'll make everything better. That is so <laughs> always makes it better. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. So let's talk your favorite bean so far. Do you have a favorite bean so far? Now, since you're only, you're a year into this, yeah. you made your very first extract July of last year, I, I think did. you say. So it's, you haven't had a birthday yet. No, not yet. Have you uh, tried a few, you know, dip the finger, or put uh, them in the... the how can you not? Exactly. <laughs> And what have you found as you've tried them? Um, I like the Mexican ones. Huh? But the more beans that are coming out and the different flavors and the different undertones. Mm -hmm. You're liking it. You can oh, taste them. Yes. Do you notice is it still really boozy since it hasn't hit a year yet? Or are you finding that some of them are ready faster or shorter? Because you don't slice your beans. You like I don't. Putting, you put your beans in whole. I do. Because you want to use the paste later and have yeah. more options. Yeah. I want to use it in cooking. I want to be able to use it again for a second extract uh -huh. with half the alcohol. Right. So um, I want to be able to, to use them again. Some of them, I might take the caviar out and use it in ice cream or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for homemade ice cream, it's the best. And the little yes. vanilla seeds and the little, oh, it's wonderful. Oh, you're yes. getting every little bit out of it. They're not, you know, vanilla beans are not cheap. No. So you can get every tiny little bit out of, you know, um, each bean. Yes. Yep. Well, when you finally try your first one, you're going to have to let us know. We're oh. going to be excited to hear how it turns out. Yes. And you should, within a year, be ready. The oldest ones are, what were they again? Was it the Mexican and the Madagascar? It, yeah, it was the Hawaiian. The Hawaiian oh, the was Hawaiian one of the first. Was Hawaiian, first. Hawaiian was oh. the first. It was the one that you had the little special pricing on. It's like, how can I not do this? Totally. <laughs> we love those beans. So, yep. The people beautiful. that make them. And they are. It's a family from Tonga, actually. They make them in Hawaii, and they are the most wonderful family in the world to work with. Well, it's so much fun. Well, what else? Is there any other extract that you're excited about, or do you have a favorite spirit that you've used, or you're just experimenting with whatever you can get your hands yeah, on? Yeah, I just have been, whatever bean comes up, if I can get it at that time, I'll get it and, and use it. Um, one of the members had a recipe for cough syrup. Mm -hmm. made the cough syrup. Oh, this was so interesting. We yes. haven't made this yet. Tell us about the cough syrup recipe. What did this you use? This cough syrup was in a jar this size, and that's how much I have left. And it was done 921. Yeah. So we've used a lot of this. How about that? Yeah, and it's made with the wild turkey. Uh-huh. And easy peasy. Nothing to it. Nothing so, to it. So we haven't done that recipe yet. So you'll have to tell us. So it's made with wild turkey and what else you put Honey. in? Honey. Honey. And then um, the mint candies. The mint candies. Yeah. Is that starting to sound like a really good cocktail? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, is that so really cough syrup, Jeanette? Just, or is yeah. that just a really good cocktail? It's just something to get you through those winter <laughs> markets <laughs> when you don't feel well, right? That might explain why there's only this one. Because that's what it sounds like. But I don't and know. lemon. And lemon, and of course. Lemon, we'll yes. have to make, we'll have to do lemon. that yeah. in a future yeah. live. I yeah. we missed that. I didn't know yeah. that. You said you got this on uh, whose recipe was it again? It was actually Michelle's recipe. Michelle, Michelle made that one. Yes. Oh. oh well, Michelle, another Michelle item. Yep. Making well, its way in. Yep. We're totally gonna have to try that. We're gonna have to do something with.
about that. Yeah. My goodness, well, maybe get that on the website so more people can. You know, we get might. Ready we'll for, have to get that on the site. Yeah. Yeah. So great for coughs and in a hot summer on ice, the cocktail <laughs> called Michelle. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We love we it. We just named it Michelle. We just so named sorry. it. Sorry, <laughs> Michelle. We're thinking of you though. Let's see here. Why don't we dive in? There's a couple things that we wanted to announce, and then we'll make a couple extracts, and we'll come back yes. and do some more stuff here yes. with Jeanette. Um, first off, we wanted to thank everyone. Our group, when we did our live last time, it was May 1st, so now we're June 14th, so six weeks later. We had, at that time, 65,000 members, and then in six weeks, we're up to 69,000 members. We're wow. hitting just today, oh my which is amazing. We had 98,000 followers wow. on Facebook. We are now, in that six weeks, 108,000, so 10,000 more followers on our Facebook page. We have a lot of people now that are communicating via the Facebook page. We're trying to get them all over to the group, but some of them stay on the page, some get to the group. We try to get everyone to the group, and that's where the best discussions happening is in our group, um, yes. you know, not on the page, but it's so fun to see it all grow. Um, also, we want to uh, just give a big thanks to all of our group experts. We put this in a, in a post just a couple of weeks ago, but like there's times we were talking earlier today when we get on Facebook and we see that, you know, sometimes it gets busy and we can't check in all the time. And maybe four or five hours will pass and there will be 30 new posts in four or five hours on some days. Mm -hmm. And we see all these questions and comments and there are group experts who are doing just an amazing job kind of moderating, watching, looking out over the group. Thank you. Uh, you know who they are. Uh, they've got the group expert next to their name. We want to just call them out here. Alan Clabo, Derry, Debbie Perry Thomas, Lori Lang. Michelle Pedetta, Jeff Sewell, Ruth Ann Caden Batten, and of course uh, our first expert, our moderator, Starlet. Boy, Starlet, Starlet yeah. is as much of the heart and soul of this group as, as anyone. So we, I don't think she sleeps. I don't think she sleeps either. <laughs> no. no, because she's making marshmallows and things like that when the rest of us are sleeping. Yes. Like she just goes and goes and goes. And she's the kindest, most helpful lady. Yeah. My she, goodness. Oh my gosh. So um, we appreciate we. How hard the work is. That's why group experts, their their term is about six months, and then we're going to have six new group experts come in in September. We we choose groups, group experts based on uh, whether you've been a top ten contributor in one of our lives, being nominated for free beans for kind words, um, and then you know we just see who you are and that you know you're contributing, and, and you know, really those nominations for free beans for kind words that tells us every week who's really impacting the group, and it's just so fun to see all these uh, uh, names pop up that have been popping up since we started. There's also a lot of new names popping yeah. up. And it's so much fun to meet new people as well that are coming into the group. Like, yeah. like Laura, you have to call out Laura from England, yeah. has just been amazing. And yeah. uh, we're so glad to have our friend in Great Britain, among others, uh, Anne, uh, who we see pretty regularly pop up. Um, there's just a lot of new people that are coming up and through, and it's just so fun to get to know even more and more people. Yeah. So thanks to the group experts. Uh, there, I think it goes through September. And then we'll be calling new group experts uh, in September if they're interested. And as a reward, they get $175 in vanilla per, per uh, uh, gift cards, so that you've got to, you know, you got to have a little budget to get all these beans that are rolling, yes. right? Yeah. Well, we have a little uh, hobby here that uh, yeah. oh. needs to be, uh, you know, little, out a little bit. <laughs> little oh, bit yeah, of a sorry, hobby. There's nothing going on here. No, nothing at all. <laughs> We get started. Let's. So we've got a lot of people in the group who are saying that this is the very first uh, uh, video, and this hey. happens every time. There's brand new people. There's people that joined our group just to watch the video today. So we like to make extracts. We like to kind of go back to the beginning and just remember how it all started. We're going to show you how simple it is, and at the same time, how complicated it is to make a great vanilla extract. So we're going to get started, and you're going to help us. Oh, okay. You are a pro. Oh, that's right. Jeanette is a seasoned <laughs> pro now. You can't say you're not. You're like the PhD I in extract. Know. You've been having a lot of experience <laughs> over here. Seriously. So which one are we going to start with? Do we have the, I think, I think it's the Vanuatu. Vanuatu. Oh, Vanuatu. Vanuatu we'll start with. Okay. Okay, let's talk Vanuatu vanilla beans. Make sure I got the right bottle for this one. So Vanuatu vanilla beans. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new vanilla bean. Came out. We sold out almost immediately. So fast. We were able to grab another shipment. Yes. Brought it in. It sold out immediately. We're out stock right now, but there's uh, more that are coming in. We're hoping so to get some really, really soon. I'm, I'm hoping they get confirmation as early as next week, and so there'll be some more Vanuatu's available for those that want it, because they've been a real hit, and the price is right, um, and, and they're just a great bean. So, as it says here, they're a creamy vanilla. You 
get notes of sandalwood. Uh, there's a little bit of like fruit that you'll find inside of it. And so it's kind of a, a slight departure from the classic Madagascar with a little bit of vanilla spice, a little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. Ooh. Let's let's just we open it up. Open. We got it yeah, smell, right? Open. Where's the scissors? Here they are. Let's open it up and we can smell, but a little bit of sandalwood and a little bit of cinnamon. So as we, we wanted to leave Jeanette with a beautiful extract today. How oh, you can smell it. You can you smell it already. Oh, boy. <laughs> so let's see. We just love this. Oh, That's yeah. the best thing on bean day, you know, just opening them up and, uh... <laughs> yes. So the notes um, mm. we get on these are a little nutmeg, a little ginger, sandalwood, cinnamon, vanilla spice, and then just that base of that classic buttery, kind of a Madagascar vanilla. Yeah. Those, that's a, those are a lot of flavors. That's a lot a of flavors. Lot of, and, and different yep. components than we, we normally have in our different beans. Absolutely. I, I wouldn't, you know, ginger, that's a new one. That is a new that's one. That's a new one. So... And they're so pliable. They are. They're and oily, they're just, pliable. Yes. They're wonderful. In fact, we cut the wrong end. We cut some of the oil out instead of the right setup. But we had just barely pouched these uh, recently for the show. and so, But we cut the oil end off there. But um, yeah, they are long and plump and beautiful. <laughs> so, settle down, Jeanette. Settle down, Jeanette. <laughs> We're leaving them with you. It's okay. They're yours. They're yours. <laughs> That's right. And so, um, so we thought, what would be a great spirit for the Vanuatu bean? And we ended up talking about brandy and cognacs. We're not going to go deep into brandy and cognac here. We did that in another show. So if you go to like our YouTube channel, uh, we have all of our little segments named and divided so you can watch the brandy cognac segment where we talk about the differences between both. And I think in this case, a brandy or a cognac would have been really good. It's a nice bean. We want to try a really nice spirit. And so we've got the Corvassier. Uh, it's a VSOP, so a very special old pale uh, cognac. It's a beautiful cognac from the Cognac region in France. These come from the grapes that are grown in the Cognac region in France. And the nature of Cognac reminded us of the Vanuatu bean. So as you smell it, you get the grapes, you get soft fruit, yes. you get a little bit of that ginger, a little bit of the spice, mm -hmm. and it naturally has some vanilla in it as well. I can smell the vanilla. So we thought that the uh, Corvassier Cognac VSOP uh, with a Vanuatu bean would be a wonderful bean to make for you. So for our very first extract. Now, in addition, we brought our Diana jars. We launched these, and these sold out. I think there's one size that's left, but they're pretty much gone, and we've got more that are on their way in, but they're beautiful little bar, uh, little jars, um, you know, with a nice cork top, so they're easy to sort of access with the beans in. They're tall. So this is our 16-ounce jar. So 16 ounces. Wow. Two ounces. Yeah. What's the ratio? Tell us what the ratio is. One ounce beans, know. eight ounces of alcohol. Ooh. <laughs> One ounce beans, eight ounces of alcohol. So the nice thing about getting a jar where you know the size is you don't have to measure the alcohol. Yeah. You just put in the beans, and this is a little more than 16 ounce because the beans are going to display some. And so we'll go ahead and put the beans in here, and then we'll just fill it with the um, with the cognac. So tell us, you, you have used mason jars, and, you, and I asked the question, do you tie your beans in a knot or do you cut them? You said, no, you don't cut them. You do them whole, but you don't tie them in a knot. You do something else. Right. Can you grab that mason jar right there? Because this was fascinating to me. So you will push your beans down into the mason jar and just, what did you call it? You just kind of wrap them to yeah. make sure that they're fully submerged. You wrap them. Right. So, I wrap it around the bottle instead of standing them up. Yeah. So sometimes with extract, there's bottles there's form and function and so this bottle obviously has a, a little bit of form but you wouldn't be able to wrap them the way you like to wrap them in this one yeah so you seem to think about when you're buying your bottles if you're getting a bottle that's more for form you see what the top looks like you see how tall these beans are so we know right away there's going to be a problem something's got to give now we don't have a big enough opening to where we can get our finger down in there to push them down maybe you could use like the tip of a, of a spoon or a handle or something to push them down Not sticks Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Oh, now there's a great one. Have you used that before? I use chopsticks all the time. Oh, there's a new one. <laughs> chopsticks. So you can use chopsticks to push them down. Yeah. That's what we wanted to do. Um, in our case, when we've used jars like this, we'll just cut them. We do like one cut down the middle, and then we just put them in that way, and that typically will still preserve most of the seeds and the caviar inside without losing most of them. But you will still get some seeds that come out when you cut them. Mm -hmm. So what should we do here? I don't think we have chopsticks handy. I don't want to put you on the spot. Why don't we... Oh my gosh, 
you she do does have, have them she has everything <laughs> this is unrehearsed yeah we didn't plan this you are we are all learning the Jeanette Ioni chopstick method that's right I right love now it. okay so let's try let's see if we can make a chopstick yeah, method let's see if we can do this right here so we want to do so we've got the two ounce beans 16 ounces we're going to try to put all of these in here so let's let's go ahead I will let you do go to work and I'm going to see if there's any questions some people are talking about how the ball jars are great with them absolutely they're very functional you can just open them easy access in and out we see a lot of people using those mm -hmm. um the don says great idea chopsticks <laughs> um, it is um roxanne never tried a wrapping before so that's something laura says uh that wrapping is what let's see just fold those babies over and put the two ends down that yeah. that works mm -hmm. sometimes that would absolutely work putting them in here and is that what you're doing that's exactly what you're doing look at that folding them put them down in half folded no need to cut oh now my here's gosh. the question when you're all done and you want to take the beans out what is your what's your plan to get the beans out of this <laughs> chopsticks, chopsticks. <laughs> No problem. Now, also, and we're actually trying to. <laughs> I'm a bird. No, we never. <laughs> and then we're trying to. There's those long tweezers that you can get on Amazon, and uh, we have been looking for a supplier. We're trying to get those on our side as well. But you can go to Amazon. There's the long tweezers that'll also fit in and pull them out. But or chopsticks. Frankly, we or may chopsticks. just yeah. We may start uh, putting chopsticks on the website. We'll see yeah. here. How awesome is that? So you just push them right on the fold. Yes. Put them in, and if we want to put more in, we can. And okay. Shove them down. And Look at that. Perfect. So these have already been cut open. Yeah. So we'll put these in. Oh, the smell. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's amazing. I'm still amazed at how different um, they all are. It's wonderful. Um, Faith says she loves these tips. Martha says those ball jars, her go to for brewing. Absolutely. Uh, well, it's Susan, nice for brewing too because you know you can have more of a a bulk of vanilla, and then if you want to give it out for gifts or whatever, then you can get your brew jars then and and you know, divide the vanilla up. But just to get them started in brewing, the ball jars are really helpful. Oh, Mary says yes. Describe the smell. So yeah. what is what is it that we're smelling? And this oh, is fun because heaven. everyone, when you're trying to take a, an aroma a taste everyone receives it differently and then you describe things based on your life experience yes so everybody's words for describing things will be based on what they've experienced in life yeah and so depending on you know where you were brought up and the kind of foods that you ate like those will be the things that lead to your description that's why it's so fun so what are when you smell that what are you smelling what's the first thing that maybe sticks out to you Jeanette? it wasn't vanilla it was <laughs> interesting <laughs> surprisingly enough what was it? What it really is... wasn't. It was just, I think the nutmeggy. The oh, nutmeg. really? Yes. Okay. I'm a big nutmeg fan. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I know. Smell your hands all day. So good. Okay, so yeah. we're uh, nutmeg you're getting. What about you? What did you notice? Uh, I smell the nutmeg as well. Um, the ginger, maybe a hint. Uh -huh. And and that's a new that's a new uh, flavor. We don't I, we don't, I can't mm -hmm. say that we have another bean that I'm like oh there's ginger in it. No. You know. But See and that's new to I me do. too. So I would have picked up on that. Yeah. Yeah. So the spice I get a little bit of vanilla spice coming out of there. Cinnamon and spice. Probably the first thing I get the vanilla though. I really do pick you? up yeah, that vanilla. There's... Yeah. Pretty quickly, but I get like the cinnamon spice. That's, that's what I'm picking. Definitely up. the buttery. Yeah. Scent that you get from the classic Madagascar. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So it's kind of a, it, I described it at the beginning. In my opinion, it's like a Madagascar bean with like a spicy twist. It's mm -hmm. got like, there's a kick to it. Not there like is. Mexican yeah. vanilla, no, which no, is, no. there's no mocha in this. No. There's no, no like Mexican cocoa or, well, it, there's coffee. I, I don't get really that in these. And I think the cinnamon is, uh, is very light. Just kind of subtle. Just very, very subtle. In the Mexican bean, I think it is a little more of a, a prominent um, flavor or scent that you get. Yeah, I'm not hanging up in these as much. Yeah. Now, sometimes how many beans do we put in? So we go by weight, not by count. I don't know what the count would have been. It looks like there's about five, four or five about beans. Seven, six, seven. In one. Yeah. Okay, more than I thought. So there's somewhere between around 14 beans in the 
bottle, mm -hmm. um, but it's two ounces. That's what's right. important because it's a 16 ounce bottle, 16 and 16.7 ounce. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we made sure that we had two ounces of beans for every eight ounces two of spirit. Ounces. So two ounces, one, one. Okay, and then um, all we've got to do now for everyone new that's watching for the first time, beans in the bottle, masterful job. Fold them, put them at the bend, punched them down with a chopstick so they fit perfectly. These are all going to be submerged. Mm -hmm. And that was our concern is that we'd fill this up and we'd still have vanilla beans sticking up. We're not going to have that problem the way that you've put them in there. That was perfect. And so now it's just you add the spirit, right? Yeah, and you always want to add the beans first. Yes. Because if you don't, you're going to make a big mess. And yeah, when you, the, the displacement, <laughs> we've done that lesson. If you add the spirit first and then you push the beans in, you're going to make a mess. You'll yeah, overfill. So add your beans first. So the reality, and some of you may ask this a question that comes up, it will end up only being maybe 50 ounces of spirit by the time that we actually fill it up and so um, with 15 ounces of spirit it'll be like well that's not the full 16 you have too many beans you, we do and we're okay with that if we're going to err on beans we always err on the upside not the downside and, oh you can smell that um, cognac mm. doesn't it complement the, the vanuatu too well it does we're excited about this one and by the way the cognac brandy if you use your brandy if uh, you use them they are wonderful for cooking Afterwards, if you're doing like seared proteins or stir fries, what else? Well, different desserts. Well, you can add it into any like sauce putting on your pasta. I mean, you just splash it in there on just about everything. And the good yeah. thing is, is anything that you would put like add wine to, you can add the cognac, um, and cognac will last. You know, you've got to, if you open a bottle of wine, you've got to get through that pretty quickly, and this can sit on your counter. You know, a couple of years at least. Yeah. After so it. Some you people can just say longer. Have it there right next to your vanilla. Yeah, oh, the flavors <laughs> in, in cognac and brandy are wonderful for cooking. So when you buy this here, and the reason I say that is in this case, we could have had a big bottle and just mm -hmm. used all of the cognac that was in this bottle. Oh, that's lovely. I think I have a new favorite. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, isn't that beautiful? But there's leftover cognac, which you can use it to make another extract, or you just keep it in your kitchen and do some cooking with it and just kind of really put on your seared proteins and some of the, your desserts, your rich creamy things you're making, right? Or if you like cream cognac. Or if you like cream cognac, 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 you have cognac. <laughs> Look at the color of Isn't this. It? Isn't that beautiful? Yes. That's a... Even though it's... Sometimes I just like these pretty bottles because they make me happy. <laughs> I like to put them on the counter and so you can, you know, see the bean through it. And, you know, after it's done brewing, I just put it out there and it just makes me happy to see the beans in there. <laughs> so we have uh, two sets of labels, and so the labels just on the here. We've got some free labels that you can download if you buy the Avery uh, pre-cut label adhesive number 22820. It works for all of our pre-made labels, so you just hit print, free, put this in your printer, and it'll print it out. So we brought two. We brought a tan one and a blue one. We'll let you select which one you like. I think the blue would be perfect. So blue you see what the size sure. is? I'm not going to put it on right now. Because we're going to write on it first. So Jill and I are going to sign it. We've got the date that we made it. Our three names will be on it. We'll put that on the front. Well, a year from now, we'll have to figure out how to celebrate the birthday. Perfect. The, another the, party? Another, another party. party. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out. So we've got, they've got the vanilla bean type, the spirit used, the date created, made by all three of us. So we'll put that and we'll see how it turns out in the year. But this is going to be a beautiful extract. It will be. That's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have fun with that. Speaking of making notes and, and you know making sure that you put a date on and everything, we were talking earlier before we got started, and Jeanette um, saves all of her um, all of her, the bags that they come in. Why do you do that? I have a notebook that is the end one. End one this on the far one? left. Far there. There, there you yeah. go. Okay. I have a notebook that I write. <laughs> the day I ordered the beans, my order number was what kind of beans they are. Um, when I get them, I write the day I got them. I write uh, what kind of alcohol that they went into. Mm -hmm. And then if I smell it, you know, three months, then I'll make a little note on my paper of what it mm -hmm. smells like. Of course, a lot of it still smells like alcohol, mm -hmm. but 
sometimes you can smell that little hint of stuff in the tree. So you saved everything, so, so it's I documented. Saved, I even She's saved the little I know. How cute is this? She saved all the little stickers on the outside with the names on them. You almost, I think you have almost yes. all of our different sayings. I there's eight of them. Yes. I think you have all eight, don't you? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Those sayings just make you happy. They, don't they? We they have do. So that's the point. They <laughs> do. If any of you ever made vanilla when you're not happy by the time you're done? No, vanilla does no. that, right? When you're making the extract, yeah. you're happy. Well, you know, when you make so much vanilla, it's pretty impossible to remember everything. And so it the, is. Notes, the notes, you know, note taking is really important. It is. So important. You can remember, hey, where am I at in this step? And, you know, and, oh, what did I do last time? You know? Yeah. Taking notes is yeah. really, really helpful. Maybe I want to do something different this time. Yeah. Or maybe, you know? Yeah. Let's I see. Here. I can't remember. So, <laughs> Questions. Um, what brand is the cognac? It's Corvassier. We have a very good friend, Dana, who uh, speaks many languages. And I actually called her. I sound very intelligent and fine right now. Only because our very good friend, Dana, uh, told me how to say it. And she texted it. And then I had to call. And then I had to say it like 400 times before she was like, yeah, that'll do. So it's, it's French, Corvassier. Uh, I pronounced it Corvorsier. So if you're like me and you're in the liquor store and you're looking for the right one, it's Corvorsier, but uh, the VSOP, which means very special old pal, it's an aged cognac, and so it's really good. It's kind of an upper shelf cognac and has a really, really good taste. So hopefully that answered your question. Thank you to Dana for making us look smart. Um, <laughs> let's see. Someone loves bottles, they said. Uh, good idea for the label. We're excited about the label as well. We think that's fun. Um, Christy, she's excited to try to make her own. Sounds like she's going to embark on her very first. Um, the bottles are the Diana. We sell them on our site. There's only one size left because they sold out so quickly. But we've got a bunch more on the way. And then we actually have two other um, kinds of bottles that we're going to be launching. So we'll have three different collections of bottles that we're really excited about that are sort of custom to us. But uh, the ball jars are great. Um, the bottles kind of are, are you. And so everybody uh, kind of expresses themselves. They go antiquing yes. looking for bottles. Oh, that's exactly. so fun. They yes. go antiquing and yes. find the most unique bottle. And then once it's done brewing, it can just sit out on your counter. And it's, you know, it's almost decoration. But, you know, plus you get to use it. Plus you get to use it. So you, whether it's and smell. And yes. smell. So for, for function, the ball jars are awesome. Yes. I mean, I don't think there's anything easier than just a ball jar. Maybe an open yeah. lid flip top. Those are pretty easy, or too. Or other things that had a, you know, yep. like other people use. Jelly jars, yes. Like jelly can, or yes. You know, the jar that you the have. jars that the alcohol comes in. I mean, this is a beautiful jar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so they just have fun with jars. Yeah. You. Okay. Any other? Uh, I'm anxious to start. Says Carolyn, uh, Roxanne. I have things written down on my own spreadsheet. Some of you have. You may have to have a spreadsheet pretty soon. You're gonna have to hire like tech people to come in and write <laughs> formulas, like so that you can keep track of all these things because that is got a lot going on yes you are a master extract maker okay there we go i think we've answered everyone's questions so that's extract number one we're going to did you pick a color that you like to the label blue. we're going to use the blue we'll sign it then we'll put the label on when we're done yeah. okay let's make one more this is also a diana this is our 12 ounce this is our 12 ounce jar so 12 ounces technically we need an ounce and a half of vanilla beans um, we've got two ounces, so we're going to go closer to double fold when we make this one. So, um, I emailed Annette before we came and asked what beans she hasn't tried yet, and one of them was Ugandan. So we brought Ugandan beans. Now, Ugandan are, and many of you have tried them, they're very earthy. There's like figs you get, raisins. Yes. It's a real fruity it's vanilla bean. very noticeable, and they are very unique. I don't think we have another bean that, um, smells anything like them. It's very fig. Very, I just think of the holidays in the fall when you open this up yeah. and all the breads and you know, all that yummy. Oh my goodness, like raisins. It's, it's quite noticeable when you open it up. So, when you have vanilla beans that are doing lots of different things, like this Ugandan one is, and we try to think of a spirit that would pair well with like a fig or raisin, there's a few. I think you could do a darker spirit and have some luck, but we really like with the Ugandan the vodka. Just let that vodka come through, like that wonderful, um, well, excuse me, just let the Ugandan taste come through.
because the vodka is tasteless and scentless. And so it's going to allow us to do like Ugandan uninterrupted. Yep. Yep. Nothing's going to be kind of clouding it at all. You're going to get just straight, straight Ugandan. Ugandan. What do you think of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think of that scent. Is it the same? No, not at all. Totally different from the totally vanilla. Different. Yep. Yep. So why don't we go ahead and we'll put those in and let's get yeah. the Uganda done. Um, so maybe we can do, do you want to do double or we can do half and leave the other half so you can do what you want with it. We could do that too. Okay, sure. Let's do that because that gives you more options. Very good. Okay, so. Um, let's try it here. So um, chopstick method again. Chopstick method. Is that what we want to well, do? I can do this. You can. I don't want to touch your beans with my hands. I'm not gloves on. I don't know. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. Chopstick method again. Yeah. So I think we'll do. I'm gonna uh, just fold it over just like Jeanette did. This is the Jeanette bean folding chopstick. Yeah, chopsticks. Method. I'm, you know, every time I have chops, every time I do sushi, I'm gonna think of you, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> That is wonderful. Let's see. And so we'll put that many in, and then I'm going to chopstick them. We're going to push these down here. Now my hands are going to smell oh. wonderful. <laughs> Jeanette, this chopstick trick just changed everything for us. I know. We really, we had Jeanette get out a knife and a cutting board, and I'm like, who uses a knife and a cutting board? We have chopsticks. Do we have it? Yep. Okay, we have it. Let me grab this. And I'll go ahead and clean it out real quick. Get the brandy out. A little bit of water. Done. We'll put this in. We just have great goose, but I mean, use your favorite vodka. Um, that if if you do vodka, then you can use it later for that. Yes. Or, um, well, we were talking with Jeanette before the show started. With vodka, you can really go up or down. And we Grey Goose is a nice vodka. It's very clean, pure, distilled. It pours very clean and smooth, so we, we like it. But we uh, the Kirtland vodka, as we've said many times, Tito's vodka, Kel One vodka, Svetka. The, oh, there we go. Svetka has been a really good vodka as well. That's kind of a middle shelf. Oh, I may have put it went a little too there. much. It's okay here. I will just take it to the sink. Oh, you're it Just out. a little bit. <laughs> just a bit here. You know, Jeanette and I go. were talking earlier. She's like, I had a little bit of this vodka and a little bit of that. You just put it all in there. You just you put it all in difference. there. So, what was that? There's paper towels. Oh, I think we're okay right now. But we'll go ahead and cap it. Now, what do we like about vodka? This is the other thing. I love that when you're done with a vodka extract, it's just clear and simple. Yeah. And how fun is that? Tasteless. It's tasteless, but it's fun. I think it's just pretty. And then the fun I'm going to get a little closer here. We'll do a, a zoom in. But any of you have seen these before. So this is what it looks like right after it's poured. And then uh, you can see, um, you know, those beans are pure, are just clean. And then what happens after you watch it for even an hour, two hours, three hours, it's going to start turning. So before the sun goes down tonight, it's going to start turning. And so um, it will be fantastic. So Jeanette, how are you doing? Long show. <laughs> We're about ready to wrap up, and we uh, are just so grateful that um, that was here to host. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to put the label on it, we'll write the date on it, and you'll have two extracts from us to remember That's today. So but to remember that crazy day when you had Paul and Jill Fold in your home. We'll go ahead. In fact, I'll put all of these out here. So um, I think that is about it. We just have one more thing. Let me, oh, let me make sure I answer any questions. I think we'll just do the 10 um, top contributors. I think we're, I think we're about done. I think we're done. Yeah. Yep. So you're right. Someone made a comment. It is a 12 ounce bottle. We used, uh, we did the one ounce of beans. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull the top off this when we're done. We're going to put another half ounce of beans in. Uh, we'll close or maybe I'll to give you a, like a, almost no, a double. double. You well, got Or we can take the vodka out and you can use yeah. the beans for whatever you want. You can use them for whatever we're you want. Do kinds of things when we're done here. We are. <laughs> so Jeanette, you have been uh, more than a wonderful host, letting us come into your home and invade yes, your kitchen. Thank we just you. we're so glad that we got to know you. You're just way too kind. And 
There's a reason that you all love this lady. Yes. Um, she's exactly who she is online. She's just yeah. sweet. So you mentioned that you've made some really awesome friends through the group, right? Very good friends. I'll have these friends forever. Yeah. Oh, oh, because of you too. Oh, oh, yes. And we're glad that there's a place the that everybody can find each other, right? Yeah, yes. Absolutely. And even though if you can't have extra parties together, at least you can be together. Yes. Yeah, we started this group just to be like a resource, people helping people. It's just become 69,000 friends uh, having fun together. So, and no matter where you live, how far away you are. Right. Yeah. You friends. You we had someone friends. comment this morning from Crete. Really? Oh, yes. I had never seen it before, but we're all around the world. I mean, we've got people in New Zealand that we've shipped beans to and in Australia. And uh, obviously our friends up north in Canada. I mean, all around the world. Uh, Peru. Great Britain. Great Britain. So, uh, Sweden, Spain, Italy, uh, everywhere. So we're one big extracting happy family. <laughs> so the last thing, we never have a show without giving away some free beans, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, we got to do this. We got to do this. I say this in every show, but here's the printout. This list is made by Facebook, not by me. And so we just print out the top 10 contributors over the 28 days before the show. And we give one ounce of Madagascar beans to all of you wonderful top 10 people. And so, should we go start from the bottom up? So, our number 10 contributor this time is our good friend from Great Britain. Laura. 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 Ashton. Laura, congratulations. So we, have you with us. we are so glad to have you with us. Beans on the way. Number nine, Bill. Buccella Marie. Buccella, Buccella Marie. We, uh, <laughs> relatively, she's been in the group just 14 weeks. Wow. And everyone knows Bachella. Wow. She's, she's just always so... sharing wonderful recipes and ideas. She is she is wonderful. A wonderful member yes. of our group. So welcome. It's good to see you on the list here. We've got uh, Anne Bouchon doing 47 yeah. weeks ago, believe it or not. Wow. So she's coming up a year already. Anne, we love you. Thanks for your contribution. Congratulations. Our very own Kathy Donaldson. Kathy hey. Donaldson. Hey. She's one of our friends, right? Yeah. Oh, she's so... <laughs> Congratulations. Read by your good friend, Jeanette. So. And I love reading her comments. They are so helpful. She has so many good tips. Doesn't she? she? Yes. She is the sweetest yes. lady ever. And oh my gosh. Like like everyone here. Next up is... Krista Howard. Krista Howard. Congratulations, Krista. <laughs> uh, next is Debbie Perry Thomas. Debbie. Debbie, congratulations. Debbie, you guys are just always there helping us. And helping all, and our newbie here is super sweet. By the way, super sweet. No matter how many times you're asked the same questions, you come back with a sweet answer. Yep. Yes. So our number four joined just 17 weeks ago wow. is BJ Shaw. BJ Shaw. Yay. BJ just won free beans for kind words. Oh wow! She just had, I think, an anonymous member buy her some beans because everyone just loves BJ, and now you're winning another one ounce of Madagascar beans, BJ, because you're a you're a top four contributor in our group over the last. Days. So, BJ, we're so glad to have you with us. Thank you. After just 17 weeks. And then uh, after BJ, number three, whose turn is it? It's oh, yeah, sure. Right. Roxanne Young. Roxanne Young. Roxanne, a, me a member of the group for a year, a little more than a year. She's always on there as always well. Always on there with yes. great yes. advice and great comments. Um, number two, you're going to get to read the number one. That worked. We didn't we plan that. We can do it together. Oh, yes, we together. Yes. So, Number two is Diane Olk, who joined just 16 Woo! weeks ago. Diane, Diane, we told Teresa in customer service that you're number two, and she said to make sure that she said hello to you. <laughs> she just loves uh, talking to you and working with you. We love Diane. Just an amazing member of our group. She is. And then finally, this is crazy. Our winner of our number one contributor, who joined just 11 weeks ago. What? Yes. <laughs> Talk about coming in and like taking the group storm and everyone loves this lady she is hilarious she oh, makes the funniest yes, jokes she... so let's uh give well, a she big probably never sleeps either she probably never sleeps either <laughs> but our very own nancy, nancy ripley email nancy Yay! number one contributor <laughs> last 28 days wow congratulations, congratulations to yes. all of you so awesome you deserve it yes 
So I wish there was a way that I could turn up the volume on your comments right now, and maybe you could do it by just hitting that love button real quick as a way to give a big thank you to our amazing host, yes. Jeanette. If you could all just start hitting that love button up, it's like a 30 second delay. We're going to yeah, sit here because we want to see all the love. Let's start hitting those. There they come. Oh, no. My computer ran out of batteries. Right what happened. If you look up on the phone, you can see it. So look up. You'll see all the love that is coming in right now from everyone in our group. You are so loved. Yeah, it's my all pleasure. That. I'm so glad that you chose me today. Well, we're so oh. glad that you chose to be a member of our group. We we're love you. Yeah, we're so glad you welcomed us oh. into your home. And you've got Thank two you. friends now. Anytime yes. you're in, in uh southern part of Salt Lake, just come by and say hello to yes. your yes. friends. Thank yes. you all for joining us. Thank you very much for hosting. You've been an amazing yes. host. We just love you and it feels so welcome coming here. Yeah. It's just a, uh, it's a happy home. It is. Yep. And so we're glad to be a part of it. So thank all of you for joining us on a Tuesday afternoon. Kind of a harder time. Yeah. Um, for those that missed it, we're going to post it uh, online. So see the replay in our groups. So you'll be able to watch it all over again. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> your son <laughs> and uh we'll make sure that we uh you know get it all out there so anyone that missed it that wants to watch it can but you've just been amazing oh thank you thank, thank you so you much thanks to all of you we'll uh see you again next time we hope to come to someone else's home again we'll see uh and we'll keep you posted on the next live and how yeah. we do that in the meantime happy week a wonderful tuesday and we'll see y'all soon